Here's a quick little video about uh, using estimator uh, takeoff length uh, in a roof example. Um, this is just a very simple roof and I, over here is estimator uh, takeoff length and I'm going to start out by I want to know my starter length so I'm, I've got a you know, series of choices that I can make in here and these are completely customizable but let's just start out with a starter and I'm going to say use picking and I'm just going to pick Pick these edges. You notice when I hover over it's magenta. When I click on it, it becomes the orange color. So that means it's selected. So I've got just as I go around here, let's just say that's my starters. And you'll see the length has been totaling as we go over here. So we have 49 feet and it's created a layer that's called um, you know that last name of that, uh, which would be starter. So uh, now if I was to cut off roof, you're gonna see there's a group that's containing these segments that total those lengths. So that's how it's it's recording it, and then estimator can read those links and use them for your takeoffs. So um, we'll cut the roof back on, and let's say we want to do ridge caps. So I'll pick ridge caps, and I'll do the same thing. Pick. See, it turns it orange. And there you go. So there's my ridges, and it's 36 feet of those, and it created my layer. I'm just hitting the space bar, and that clears it. And I'm going to now let's do valleys, and I'll just pick my valleys. It's not doing it on the first go. There we go. So 18 feet of valleys. So again if I cut off that roof you can see those are the various different groups that are being created. Those were the valleys, these were the starters, and these were the ridges. Okay, cut that back on. And let's say you want to add one, um, like drip edge for example. If there's not in this collection, again, it's completely customizable because people use this for all sorts of things. So just as a way of example, say edit collections and let's just come under here under roof and under after downspouts, just make sure you type it in exactly the same to the same spacing. And I'm going to just call it drip edge. And then I'm going to come up and save it and close it and say refresh collections. Now when I come in here, I've got drip edge as a choice and I can do my picking and say I'm going to go along and choose everywhere where I'm going to have drip edge so there so you can see that last one that was in there was drip edge if I go back to um, like valleys for instance it's it's remembering the length of that it's everything that's in that group so anyways hope that clears it up hope that helps let me know if you have any more questions thanks